Hey there, dog lovers. Welcome back to Bachelors Max, where we dive deep into the fascinating world of our furry friends. Today, we're unraveling a question that might have crossed your mind. What does attractive behavior in dogs actually mean? Why do they do the things they do that make us go aw? You see, dogs communicate with energy, and their behavior, even the cute stuff, is their way of expressing their needs, emotions, and intentions. Just like us, dogs have a rich inner world, and understanding their language is key to building a strong, fulfilling relationship. Stay tuned because you're about to discover the hidden meanings behind those adorable actions. You'll learn to see the world through your dog's eyes and understand what they're trying to tell you. We all know that a wagging tail is often associated with a happy dog, but did you know that it's more nuanced than that? Tail wagging is a complex form of communication that dogs use to express a variety of emotions and intentions. The way a dog wags its tail, the speed, direction, and height tells a story. Each wag can convey a different message, and understanding these subtle cues can help you better connect with your furry friend. A tail wagging high and fast, like a flag waving in the wind, usually means pure excitement and joy. This is often seen when they greet you at the door or when they know it's time for their favorite activity. They're happy to see you, ready for a walk, or just thrilled about life in general. This high-energy wag is a clear sign that your dog is in a great mood and eager to engage. But a slow wag, with their tail held at a mid-level, could indicate curiosity or uncertainty. This type of wag shows that your dog is processing information and trying to understand their environment. They're observing the situation, trying to figure out what's going on, and looking to you for guidance. In these moments, your dog is relying on you to help them navigate their surroundings and make sense of new experiences. And then, there's the low wag, almost a slight twitch of the tail, which can be a sign of nervousness or anxiety. This subtle movement indicates that your dog is feeling uneasy and may need some comfort. They might be feeling unsure, a little scared, and looking for reassurance. In these situations, it's important to provide a calm and supportive presence to help your dog feel safe. Pay close attention to these details as they tell you how your dog truly feels in the moment. By being observant, you can respond appropriately to your dog's needs and emotions. Remember, a wagging tail doesn't always mean a happy dog, so look at the whole picture, their body posture, their eyes, their ears, to understand their true emotions. This holistic approach will help you build a stronger bond with your dog and ensure their well-being. Ah, the classic puppy eyes. Those big soulful eyes that seem to look right into your heart. It's not just a manipulative move to get that extra treat. It's actually rooted in evolution and a deep-seated need to connect with us. Dogs develop this behavior to bond with humans more effectively, creating a unique form of communication that transcends words. Think about it, wolves, the ancestors of our domesticated dogs, don't use this kind of eye contact. Their gaze is more intense and often seen as a threat. They see it as a challenge, a way to assert dominance or defend their territory. But dogs have evolved to communicate with us, and those soft, pleading eyes are their way of tugging at our heartstrings, making us feel a deep sense of empathy and connection. When your dog looks at you with those wide, soft eyes, they're releasing oxytocin, the love hormone. This hormone plays a crucial role in forming bonds and creating feelings of trust. This hormone, present in both humans and dogs, strengthens bonds and creates feelings of trust and affection, making the connection between you and your dog even stronger. So, when your dog gives you those puppy eyes, they're not just trying to get a treat. They're tapping into a deep primal connection that has been nurtured over thousands of years. They're saying, I love you, I trust you, and I feel safe with you. It's a silent conversation that speaks volumes. It's a powerful form of communication, and it's one of the many reasons why dogs are such amazing companions. They have an innate ability to understand our emotions and respond in kind. They understand us on an emotional level and they're not afraid to show it. This emotional intelligence is what makes the bond between humans and dogs so special and enduring. If your dog often leans against you, it's not just for balance or warmth. This behavior means they see you as a source of safety and comfort. They're seeking your presence, your energy, your calm, assertive leadership. When a dog leans on you, it's an endearing sign that they trust you completely. 
They feel secure in your presence, knowing that you'll protect them and keep them safe. It's their way of saying, I know I can count on you. This behavior is especially touching in rescue dogs who might have had a difficult past. By leaning on you, they're showing that they've let go of their past fears and chosen to trust you completely. So the next time your dog leans against you, take a moment to appreciate the depth of their trust and affection. It's a beautiful thing when a dog feels so safe and secure with you that they can completely relax and let their guard down. Have you ever wondered why your dog brings you their favorite toy? While it may look like they're simply inviting you to play, this behavior also has deeper roots. Dogs are pack animals, and in a pack, there's a natural hierarchy. Bringing you their prized possessions is their way of showing respect and acknowledging your role as the leader. It's like they're offering you a gift, a token of their appreciation for your leadership and care. They're saying, you're the boss, and I want to show you my appreciation. So when your dog brings you their toy, don't just throw it. Engage with them. Play a little game of fetch or have a gentle tug of war. It's a great way to strengthen your bond and show your dog that you appreciate their gesture. Remember, it's not just about the toy. It's about the connection and the trust that your dog is demonstrating. Chapter 5. Yawning. It's not always what you think. A yawn isn't just a sign that your dog is tired. It's a multifaceted behavior that can reveal a lot about what your furry friend is experiencing. While it can be a sign of physical exhaustion, it can also be a form of communication, a way for your dog to express their emotions and intentions. This simple act can convey a range of feelings. Interestingly, dogs may yawn when they're feeling a bit stressed or when they're trying to calm themselves down in certain situations. It's a subtle yet powerful way for them to manage their emotions. It's their way of releasing tension and finding a sense of inner peace. Just like humans might take a deep breath to relax, dogs use yawning as a tool to soothe themselves. For example, you might notice your dog yawning at the vet's office, in a new environment, or even during a car ride. These are all scenarios that can be a bit overwhelming for them, or when meeting new people. This is their way of saying, I'm a bit unsure, but I'm trying to stay calm. They're not necessarily tired, they're just trying to cope with the situation and maintain a sense of calm. It's a fascinating glimpse into their coping mechanisms. It's also known as a calming signal, which dogs use to show they're feeling peaceful or to diffuse tension around them. This behavior is a part of their social toolkit. They might yawn at another dog who's feeling anxious as a way to communicate that they mean no harm and to help the other dog feel more at ease, or even at you if you're feeling stressed. Dogs are incredibly perceptive and can pick up on our emotions, often mirroring them in their own behavior. So, the next time you see your dog yawning, don't assume they're just tired. Consider the context and what might be causing them to feel the need to yawn. Pay attention to the context, their environment, their body language, to understand what they're really trying to communicate. This awareness can deepen your bond and help you respond to their needs more effectively. Chapter 6. Sighing and Groaning – The Language of Contentment You've probably heard your dog let out a long, deep sigh after settling down for a nap. This isn't a sign of boredom or frustration, it's usually the opposite. A sigh, especially when accompanied by a relaxed body posture, is a sign that your dog feels content and at peace in their environment. They're completely comfortable, feeling safe and secure, and letting go of any tension. It's their way of saying, ah, this is the life. I'm surrounded by love, I have a full belly, and I can relax without a worry in the world. You might also hear your dog groan when they're settling down for a nap or when you're giving them a belly rub. These groans are often accompanied by a blissful expression, a sure sign that they're enjoying the moment to the fullest. So, the next time you hear your dog sigh or groan, take it as a compliment. It means they feel completely at ease in your presence and what a wonderful feeling that is. Chapter 7. Head Tilts, the Classic Gesture of Curiosity Is there anything more heart-melting than when a dog tilts its head while you're talking to them? This gesture isn't just cute, it actually serves a purpose. Head tilting helps dogs better hear and locate the source of a sound. When they tilt their heads, they're adjusting their ear position to pick up on subtle changes in tone and pitch, trying to decipher the meaning behind your words. It's also believed to be their way of showing engagement and trying to understand us. 
They're saying, I'm listening, I'm trying to understand, please continue. And let's be honest, it's hard not to smile when you see that adorable head tilt. It's their way of melting our hearts and strengthening the bond between us. So, the next time your dog tilts their head, keep talking to them. They're genuinely interested in what you have to say, and they're trying their best to understand the world from your perspective. Keep those tails wagging. There you have it. Some of the most attractive and meaningful behaviors our dogs display and what they truly mean. Remember, our dogs communicate with us in ways that go beyond words. The more we understand these subtle signals, the deeper our bond becomes. By paying attention to their body language, their energy, and their subtle cues, we can learn to speak their language and build a relationship based on trust, respect, and understanding. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with fellow dog lovers. Drop a comment below to tell us which of these behaviors your dog does and what you think it means. Thanks for joining us on. And until next time, keep those tails wagging and those smiles going strong.